you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boys up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your daddy? Is he still carrying that fucking gun? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we can... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. Kidnap me, my dad said. Mm. Which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. <laughs> patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. So Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, that's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just got to give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. But Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right, stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place, anyway? A missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. Gotta know him. This is your destination. You're one man piled with armed sausages. 
back to remind you that all of us here witnessed the wholesale denigration. Okay, this way. Let's find that escape hatch. That Marcus kid, anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican? So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent. Hey! Uh, keep those hands where I can see them. <clears throat> I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, I'll give them anything to drink. Hold it! Don't you move. Hey! Don't move. It's okay. <laughs> Chill out. There's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, or, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You won't get this black man killed. I'll kill Nick, get to that trailer. Hey, who's right off here? Nobody wants to 
wants your light-ass beer. I got whiskey over here, you friggin' lightweight. Someone drank it. You gonna eat that thing? Mmm. Nah, I'm just right gonna here. skin it. Look, I'm gonna try to reach kind of Shit, don't what you have I any other friends? Talk, circle of here. life. Freeze. Don't fucking move. Yeah. Oh. Man, I'm <coughs> telling you, you ain't ever gonna get that old heap of yours to run. What the hell are you talking about? Your spark plug insulator tips are cracked, for one. Gee, I, I just changed them. <laughs> well, someone must have swapped them out. That damn truck to get parts, I'm done with it by now. Hands up. And keep them up. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Freeze! Alright, brother, you just take a night. <laughs> Hands up. Probably still around. We got trouble. Be on the lookout. We got a guy down. What's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip. That's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's man. a lot of things I'd like to Could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Boomer! But if instead I turn you both over to this stoddard person and collect my 250 grand. What the hell, woman? <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys. I forgot you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot.
That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. Decided I kinda hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah. You seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Dooney. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away. Check out that burnt out house before we go. That fire looks kind of recent. Dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did Dune mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money for that. Drug stuff. Plus, he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it! The old airfield! Keep going! Airfield's just ahead! You know, I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah, well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? But not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You, you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why I became a cop. A real cop. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. <laughs> oh, hell 
down low. Woo! Oh, yeah, she's pretty and banged up, but I can fix it. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you down, Boomer? Man, get out. Oh, shit. Boomer. Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. Got the brute. What the hell is that? Someone just shell this fucking building. Just fix that goddamn plane. I'll hold him off. Oh, so now you want me to fix the plane?
after we join up with Kai and Tyson. We are going straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. <laughs> Radios, uniforms, C4, scuba gear, harnesses, cable trolley, and one safe-cracking robot. So we're good, right? We are good. Let's get to Miami. Wait. We gotta give this place one last sweep. We don't want to leave anything incriminating behind. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go. What the fuck is that hissing? <laughs> Oh, I thought yes. you could hide from me, Mendoza! I taught you everything you know! How's it going, Nick? God damn it, shoot this prank! I'm going to. Some bad luck. Damn it, Kai! Yeah, sorry. It's Dawes. What, you want to answer him? Say hello? <laughs> Straight to dead guy voicemail. Wait, what are you doing? Dawes is gonna probably want an update. I'm sending him one. Should have come out of there by now. It's been over an hour. Maybe he got lost. There's a sign on the door that leads to the tank. How hard could it be? Hey guys, sorry, I got lost. Where the hell are you? Finding the water tank was easy. Finding the drainage, not so much. More pipes than a church organ in there. Hey Tyson, man, stay away from the cameras. Relax. All they're seeing is a hard-working window washer. Get the cable ready. We're moving in. Minimal radio contact from here on out. Got it. <laughs> 